Happy Wednesday. Good evening. Thank you for joining us here at Soul Restoration Ministry. I hope you had a blessed week. We are continuing part two of an awesome teaching with Pastor Alvin and Pastor Frank. Grab your Bible, grab your pen, and be blessed. We're going to read ex ex Exodus chapter 14, and I want you to hear what God had to say here. Exodus chapter 14 is very profound. Remember, the meek shall inherit the earth. So Exodus chapter 14 verse 13 says, And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace this is a declaration that moses said when the egyptians were pursuing the israelites right yes, now i want you to understand something very 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 important here the meek shall inherit the earth moses was known as the meekest man on earth at some point according to scripture moses was the meekest man on earth yeah, yeah. so the meekest man and if we know that meek shall inherit the earth then it stands to say that moses will also inherit what yes. the earth this is just pure deductions analysis the earth yeah. so for moses the earth was actually speaking on his behalf yeah. so when you think about the miracles that moses did you realize that it wasn't necessarily healing it wasn't necessarily the cripple who are walking moses's miracles were not something targeted towards the human being However, Moses' miracles were a lot of times things that pertain to the earth. You understand that? So the river Nile is in the earth. It turned to blood, right? Yep. When you spoke against Moses, like Korah, mm. the earth will open its mouth and what? Swallow you. This is Moses, the meekest man on earth. So literally, when Moses would lift up his hands, the sun and the moon, right, will stand still. Now, let me give you a revelation. We know from physics that the sun is what? Solitary. The yeah. sun doesn't what? The sun doesn't move. It is rather the earth, Mars, Jupiter, yeah. Neptune, and all these countries that what? Move all these planets that what? Move around the sun. The moon doesn't move. Well, the moon actually tilts around what? The earth. So when Moses said, I'm lifting up my hands and the sun and the moon stood still. It wasn't the sun and the moon that stood still. We know from physics that what was happening, it was actually the earth that was not what moving. Mm. Do you see what I'm trying to say? Yep. And the reason why the earth was listening to the voice of Moses is because Moses was the meekest yes, man. man on earth. And so he had inherited the thing. Yep. He was a portal to the earth. Yep. So all of a sudden the locusts who were what? Things of the earth will what? Fly into Egypt. Listen, darkness moved into Egypt. Flies moved into Egypt. Because the meekest man on earth, according to the earth, which what? Who was inherited had to obey the voice of the man. Had to obey. Isn't that something? To obey. Sometimes. So when God says you are a portal, I trust that you trust the word of God Amen. solidly. Amen. Solidly. Amen. So that God will do what he wants to do. Moses was a portal. Man of God, the Red Sea parted. Serious miracle. Serious miracle. All right? So when I think about the portals to the kingdom of God, my mind goes to Moses. Is there any person in particular that goes to you whose story <laughs> fascinates you? Uh, my mind goes to Moses as well, actually. Mm -hmm. my mind what about him? What actually. do you like about him? So... When you read some extra biblical accounts, uh -huh. you realize that when Moses fled Egypt, yes, because of um, Pharaoh pursuing him for killing yes, yes. the Egyptian, yes, before he married his wife, his father-in-law actually put him yeah. in prison, according to extra biblical accounts. And yeah, even even in the prison, mm -hmm. he was still considered the meekest man. Mm -hmm. Even in the prison, mm -hmm. he was there and still worshiping God, serving God mm. to the point that it got to a point his father-in-law had to come and release him mm -hmm. because the earth had to listen to him when mm -hmm. he speaks. Yes. So as he was in there, just like Paul and Silas, worshiping and 
all of a sudden the angel is sent ah when moses was in there praying and praying and praying and praying there had to be a response because he had inherited the earth there's inherited the earth the meekest man on earth it's just it's just funny because when you read psalm 37 which i'm going to read i need to read this and i believe you're going to be blessed psalm 37 verse 11 13 says but the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace listen to me he moved them from the place of torture and suffering which is egypt mm. with the proclamation of the earth on his side and he took them to the promised land so that they can have peace, peace. So the Bible says, the wicked plotteth against the just and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. But verse 13 says, the Lord shall laugh at him for he seeth that his day is coming. Listen, it was just a matter of time before God would look at Pharaoh and say, Pharaoh, you are joking. You are joking because you are dealing with the meekest man on earth. And as long as he's the meekest man on earth, you know what? The earth and the substance thereof will respond to that man. He could pray and they will quail will come into the desert. He could pray and you will see rivers in the desert. What a man. What a man. What a man. It's just, it's just, it's just fascinating. And okay. consider, you consider, you consider Jesus as well. Uh -huh. That they say, what manner of man is this? That even the seas, mm -hmm. the wind, the storm have to obey him. Yes. Because he's meek. The earth has to respond, respond. to him. Just like Moses. The, 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 you see, the, the things of God are very experiential. Mm -hmm. It says in Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1, I will stand upon my watch and I will set me upon the tower and I will watch to see oh, what he will say, what unto, he will me. say unto me. Habakkuk. So you say, God is speaking, but he's seeing pictures mm -hmm. because God wants him to experience it. You, God wants him to see what he's speaking. So the, the things of God, when God says, if you are meek, mm. the earth has to respond to you. When you mm. get to that level, the earth has, it has no to respond to you. And to respond. And it did for the old timers. It, it did, did for these people in the Bible. You know, what was his name? Elijah praying and then the head of the axe actually defying gravity and come on. Come on. Could it be that we do not see these levels of miracles simply because the meek definition of meek, somebody has not paid a price for it. Yeah. I believe that. It could be. I believe that. It could be. It could be. I understand the I impact of technology, but there is somebody in this world who God wanted to be meek, but they are not, and because of that, it is lost. Yeah. We cannot have in, We cannot have that happen in our time in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And somebody shall say amen. Amen. So when you read verse 9, okay, Psalm 25 verse 9, the Bible says, the meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way teach his way if you're meek, god is teaching you his way mm. jesus christ said you know what learn of me for i am meek and of a lowly heart the earth had to respond to jesus christ and he was full of what wisdom full of wisdom because of what because of who he is hallelujah 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 listen we're entering into the time of our fast srm fast is coming oh brother 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 frank srm fast is coming it's and coming. this time i want it to be unique how do you think we can make this fast unique for the glory of God? The impact that we want to have. I believe the first thing we need is to be in unity mm -hmm. as a church. Mm -hmm. um, because the Bible says in the book of Acts that when they came together, being united in the spirit, mm. so they were united, they were together. Mm -hmm. And it was only then that the Holy Spirit descended. Op heaven opened. Heaven opened, literally opened. Mm -hmm. And to the extent that there were people from Phrygia and all parts of Asia mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit came on them like fire and the people could literally see. They could see. They could see that the Holy Spirit has come and they were speaking in their languages and they're like, no, these people have not been to school to study Greek. Greek. They haven't been to, they haven't been to school the to Diapolis. Study. So how come they are speaking our languages? All because they were united. Mm -hmm. United, because when you unite, there is a different level of authority that God releases. There is a different portal that God opens. Different portal. Portals open so that you can what experience. Listen, how can one ascend into the hill of the Lord? Mm. How can one ascend mm. into the hill mm. of the Lord? Mm. Ascendance means you are eighteen realms, mm. uh, and it says you have to be pure. And the only thing that is a sure thing that cleanses us is the word of God, the because word of it God. is like water. The word of God. 
Oh, 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 oh. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, man of God. I'm the loving it. God. I'm loving it. So you, why don't you go ahead and share some things with us that is on your heart, okay, concerning what God is doing 2023. Why don't you share some things with us? So th- th- this year was a year of encounters and I, and I, I believe and I hope mm-hmm. that people took advantage of it because the, the truth is most of the time, and, and I'm, I want to speak to this fast that's coming. Most of the time, it is difficult for you to fast on your own. It is very difficult. No, is it, it is very difficult. Very difficult. Because mm-hmm. uh, we all love food, you know. We need food to survive. We need food, actually. <laughs> and, and we love it. And yes. sometimes if you are, not, you, are, you are not careful, food becomes like uh, something that is hindering you from mm-hmm. moving mm-hmm. into newer realms mm-hmm. of God. Mm-hmm. You see, food for the belly and the belly for food, and the Lord shall destroy them all. You see, food is good for us. Yes. But there's a reason why in the wilderness, he said, I made you hunger and I made you thirst. Yeah. So that I will know what is in your heart. Yes. That thou might know mm-hmm. that man shall not live by the bread, bread only, but by, but by every word that comes God. from God. So, so, so there's, there's a reason why we are called to fast. Mm-hmm. And Jesus said, when you fast, he never said if. When you, he said when. when so he expects us to fast. Yes. Just as he expects us to pray. Yes. So he puts all of them on the same dimension. Just as you, you expected to give alms. Yes. So please, the time is coming. Take, take advantage of it. Mm-hmm. Because on your own, it is difficult. We are coming in unison. Mm-hmm. And we are fasting and we are crying unto God. Mm-hmm. And there's, there's no doubt that God will respond in newer dimension that mm, we never mm, entered. Mm, mm, so mm, please, mm, I, I, mm, I pray mm, that you partake in this in, in all seriousness, that you partake, you partake, you partake, that you tap into the grace that will be available here mm-hmm. as we fast these coming weeks in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now remember, the Monday after Thanksgiving, we are fasting. The Monday after, right after Thanksgiving, we are fasting. Okay, and this year we are believing God that it is from 6 to 6. Everybody is in unison. And then in the evenings at 8, we are praying. We are praying. We are trusting God in prayer. And we are believing God that these three weeks out of the 52 will make the most impact in our life. You cannot go into 2024 exactly the same. You You just can't do it. Okay, now this is the thing that fascinates me about Moses. He was meek. Man of God, the earth was at his disposal because the elements of the earth were the ones that were supporting his ministry. Yes. Now, here is the case where Moses dies. Mm. And usually when you die, you know, they just go and bury you and all those kind of things. But this time around, something unique happens. Mm. The Bible says that God says, you know what? I will bury Moses myself. Mm. What now, a why man. is that? It has never happened in history. And I think I believe I found out the reason why. Mm. You see, the children of Israel were prone to do what? Making idols. Mm. So when they never understood that they were superstitious, what would happen is they would create an idol. Yeah. So by the time Aaron, uh, Moses came down, Aaron had created a golden calf for them. Yeah. Right? And then when Judah, well, well, no, no, Gideon, Gideon, when Gideon did the effort, they also turned that thing into an idol. idol. All right? So, I believe what happened was that if Moses had died and the Israelites would have buried him, they mm. would have known where his burial site is and they would have turned it probably into mm, a shrine. Mm, mm. That is deep, Pastor. They would have probably turned it into a shrine. I mean, this is the man who can pray and, you know, night is happening and then rivers are telling into. Listen, I'm not even going to lie. Forget, forget the Israelites. <laughs> if I knew a man of God mm-hmm. and this man of God can pray for the Mississippi River, mm to turn into blood. This man of God can pray. Man of God. And the sun and the moon will stand still in my Mm. time. If this man of God could pray, and at night there's pitch darkness that you Mm. can't see your neighbor. If this man could pray the kind of prayers and have the results of what we saw in the plagues. Mm. And when when you spoke against him, we will all see an earth open uh, open and swallow people. Mm. Listen, when he dies... You know, you might have the tendency to say, you know what, I got to go worship that yeah. thing. But God being so good and says he will not share his glory with anybody, said, you know what? No. I don't want man to take the body and go and create some kind of idol with it. So let me take the body and bury him myself. May you become such a 
portal. In the name of Jesus. Oh, may you be so dedicated. May you have such a passion. In the name of Jesus. That you know what? Maybe if you die, you join the Moses crowd. Join Moses crowd. Somebody Jesus. say amen. amen. Where God is saying, I have to bury this guy because he was such a portal mm. to mm. the heavenlies. Mm. 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 You want to talk about an anointing that is not fair. That is an anointing that was not fair. Okay. Elijah said, if you see me go, and as they were walking, the portals were opened, and you know what? He left. We walk in portals. May God open your eyes to see the spiritual portal. In the name of Jesus. In. Because he wants to do a mighty work in your family, and you are the, the portal. portal. In the name of Jesus. And I believe that you have to stand up for it and not necessarily let that go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, man of God, the fast is coming, and I want us to talk about the fast. Okay? Why do we fast? Jesus Christ said, you know what? We ought to fast and pray. As a matter of fact, when he started his fasting ministry, John the Baptist people got mad that, you know what? Why aren't they fasting? And, and Jesus Christ said, the time comes mm -hmm. when the bridegroom is gone, they will what? They will fast. So it's not a question of should we do it. It's a question of when in the year should we do it. Amen. And at SRM, we do our fast in the beginning of the year, the middle of the year, and then the end of the year. Amen. And all we're doing is for those, 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 those six, nine, seven to eight weeks of the year, we are setting it aside for God that he will do something new in our life. Amen. Somebody amen. say amen. amen. So think about that. Think about that. Think about that. You are a royal dad and you need to fast. Now when we are fasting, we know there are three appetites. There's the natural appetite for success. You want to do well at your work and you want to do all those kind of things, right? You yes, want sir. to. You, and that, and that, is, that, is, that is appetites that we can be met through school. And then let's be honest, we also have sexual appetites. Right, sexual appetite and this and that, and you know what I'm talking about with sexual appetite. So that's number two. And then we also have another appetite, which is very important, which is spiritual appetite. Mm. So there is there is this physical appetite, right? There's sexual appetite. There's also appetite, right? For 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 for, for spiritual growth. Mm -hmm. Right, but the only way that we know that your spiritual growth will happen is if your appetite for the flesh and the appetite for the sexual comes down a little. Some yeah. it has to succumb. It has to find the right balance. Yes. So we are praying in the name of Jesus name that of at Jesus. this moment you will find the right balance. In the name of Jesus. And when you find that right balance, you'll be able to suppress. In this time that we are fasting, the activities of the flesh so you can break through. In the name of Jesus. That, my dear Frank, is what we are trusting and believing God for. In the name of Jesus. We need it. We need it. We need it. We need it. Oh, man of God, we need it. Can you imagine God saying, I'm burying Frank? Oh, <laughs> my God, my God. <laughs> what would you do with that? Oh, that, that, that would be the privilege of privileges. That uh, would be the privilege of privileges. Yes, sir. Uh, oh. God himself coming down. Oh. And saying, I will bury Frank because oh, he's a faithful God. servant. My God. And I don't want the people to turn his body into an idol. My God. That is why God himself is burying you. Ain't that something? Something. That, that's, just that's, that's, that's truly something. It is truly incredible. Truly it something. is truly, truly, truly incredible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, with that said, you know what? We're talking about portals. We're talking about portals. We're talking about what? Portals. And you need to understand that you're a portal. And you need to grow into the activity of being that portal. You need to be able to grow into it grow into and it. grow into it well. Everybody, when they're starting off something, has, has a learning curve. Mm. I pray in the name of Jesus that as you pursue your studies as a man and a woman of God, you are in the name of Jesus availing yourself as a portal. In the name of Jesus. Very, very important. In the name of Jesus. Man of God, what else do you have that you wanted to share with the people? I want to share something small about the life of Joseph. Okay. As a portal. Okay. Imagine a 17, 18 year old. Yes. Loved dearly by his father, mm -hmm. gave him a coat of many colors. Coat of many colors. And then all of a sudden he's separated from his father. Mm -hmm. He goes to a land, does not speak their language, mm -hmm. does not know the people. Mm -hmm. He's a servant. Mm -hmm. It will break you oh, yes. in that situation. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So he goes into the house of Potiphar. And Potiphar's wife begins to last after him mm -hmm. to the extent that she lied on him. And, and, and some accounts even say, even in the prison, the wife was still going there. 
oh wow, I haven't heard those. It's wow. probably America. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. But it's, it's those supporting doctrines like the Book of Asha, things like that. The Book of Joshua, actually. Okay, the Book of Joshua. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So she will go there and keep pestering and pushing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Joseph, you know I have the power to get you released. Why don't you just do this and get released? Oh! But this man held on to his integrity. Mm. Held on. Mm. Held on. Mm. Held on. Mm. Held on. Mm. Not knowing that God was using him as a portal mm -hmm. for eventually his brethren to come to Egypt, not just to get food, but to bring their father Jacob and live there, actually live there and prosper. He was a portal. So that if he had not become a portal and he had been misbehaving because nobody could see that he was a believer, mm. that means the portal or the doorway to the sustenance of Israel would have been shut. Would have been shut. They would have had to come deliverance from another place. Yeah. And how many years would it have taken God to raise such person? Only God knows. Sometimes it takes God a long time to replace you. Very true. Do not take yourself for granted. You are the epitome. You are the perfect manifestation of what God wants you to do in this world. Amen. You are the best version he has. So you need to avail yourself and you need to let just God be God. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man of God, keep going. So, so, so when, when he availed himself, mm -hmm. then he made himself that portal that God can use to redeem mm -hmm his brethren, mm -hmm. his father, mm -hmm. and then eventually Israel became big in Egypt. Mm -hmm. And even when they were living, when Moses was leading them out, to the extent that they, the Bible said they plundered what the Egyptians, the Egyptians virtually yeah, gave them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's take this, let's take this. Just go, just go. go. Just go. All kinds of blessings because one man availed himself as a portal. Oh. So, you see, it, 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 you are a portal. It doesn't matter what has happened in the past. It doesn't matter what you are going through today. The Bible says in Psalm 118, verse 22, the stone that the builders rejected oh, has become the chief cornerstone. The chief cornerstone. This is the law's doing and it's marvelous in our sight. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter where you've been. It doesn't matter where you are. Mm. You are still a portal and God can use you mm. in many ways. You, mm. you see, you've not even scratched the surface mm. of where God wants to take you. Yes. And what God wants to use your life for. Yes. So do, do not give up on yourself. Mm -hmm. do not do not give up on God do not give up on yourself you have to keep pushing you have to keep going and at the right time God will come through for you and he will amen he's amen. always a God on time he might not be according to your time but he's always a God on time amen. in the mighty name of Jesus in the name of Jesus listen we've talked a lot we've talked a lot but let me get back to the fast that we're about to do ladies and gentlemen it is our opportunity to suppress our flesh so play the deeds of the flesh mm. so that our spiritual appetite to be enhanced and will be elevated. I believe that in our fifth year, something unique that God wants to do. Oh, and this in the is name the of fast Jesus. that is going to kick us off in the fifth year. In the name of okay, Jesus. We are trusting that God will raise a bold ministers. In the name God of will Jesus. show us depth in the name of Jesus. that you will be blessed in your Christian life. Okay, you will know what you ought to do because you are a discerner of what? The times. The times. That is what we believe in God for in the mighty name, of, name Jesus. of Jesus. All right. So come ready. Come ready to fast. Come all be excited about the fasting. God is going to do something unique. You are not going to be in the flesh. You are going to have a testimony Amen. that Jesus is on your side. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, man of God, there's a portal which is very important, which is the church portal. Mm. Okay. And I want us to read Revelation chapter 3, verse 12. Okay. And as we read that, Okay, I believe that you're going to learn something which is very interesting. Amen. So we're going to Revelation chapter 3, and I'm going to read from verse 20. Revelation chapter 3, verse 20. All right, so this is what the Bible says. Okay. Behold, I stand at the door. Now he's talking to the church of Redolodesia. Mm. So he is treating the church as a door. It's a door. Level one. He says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice. So level two is what? The man has to hear a voice. Mm. Now I was sharing the last past Sunday that we had that when you are knocking, somebody is supposed to hear the sound of the door. Mm. 
not the sound of a voice. Mm-hmm. But in the spiritual atmosphere, you see, when you are waiting upon God and you are in prayer and you are doing these things, literally, literally, in the realm of the spirit, that portal has been opened mm. to you. Mm. You understand? Yeah. So he says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice. So when it comes to the things of the spirit, when the door opens, you hear the voice of God. Yeah, so every time you've heard a message from your pastor, every time you've heard a message from whoever it is who is a believer and they're speaking into your life, every time you are hearing that word, it is Jesus Christ, the father, the son of the living God, what? Knocking. Speaking. He's knocking because he says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my my voice, voice, my My voice voice is the sound sound of the knock. knock. So for all of us, the conferences we go to, the pastors we listen to, every time you really hear his voice, Mm. it is always an attempt of Jesus Christ to what? Knock. Knock. That is how we knock in the body of Christ. Mm. So right now, when I start sharing the word of God with you and you start receiving it, you know what? I am knocking. I am knocking. I am knocking. And I cannot stop knocking. Right? Because that is true evangelism. Mm. If you think about it. Yeah. Doesn't that make sense? Yeah. Yes. It makes complete it sense. It makes complete sense. It is evangelism to the core. All right? So, man of God, I want you to share anything else that is on your heart as we get it to wrap up these sessions. It has been incredible. I hope you were blessed. I believe that God is using mightily and you feel the anointing, the transference of the Spirit even as you are watching us with this program. Hallelujah. Man Amen. of God, over to you. So, just as we shared, he's always knocking. Mm-hmm. He's His always word knocking. is always coming forth. Always coming forth. Yes. But are you going to receive it? Yes. Are you going to open that door? Yes. He even says, once you open the door, mm-hmm. then I will come in and I will sup with you. So he actually wants to have a fellowship, like a one-on-one fellowship mm-hmm. to sup with you, to have dinner with you. How, how, how would you feel if Jesus came and he says, you know, let's, let's, let's sit down and have a talk. Yeah. Literally sitting on your couch. <laughs> and he's talking to you. How would you feel? What kind of friendship? Oh my God. You are seeing him face to face like most. Oh. What, what an intimate. I don't know about you, but that's what I'm craving for. That is, that is, that is what yeah, I'm craving yeah, for. Yeah, 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 yeah. Intimacy yeah. with the Lord. Mm-hmm. There's nothing that you can compare. There's nothing that you can buy. Yes. To have an intimacy, a, a, a direct intimacy with the Lord. And, and that is my prayer for everybody, that the grace of God will make you so hungry, so hungry, that it doesn't matter what goes on, you, 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 you in your heart, make a decision that I want to have an encounter, an with encounter Jesus, with, with Jesus. Jesus. What do you have to lose? The only thing that you have to lose is the ordinances of the kingdom of God. Mm. Because if you encounter this Jesus Christ that we're talking about, there is no shadow of doubt in my mind Jesus. that you'll be able to suppress the flesh and walk in the fullness of the glory of God. In the name of I Jesus. really believe that. So get ready for the fast. Get ready for the fast. Get ready for the fast. Jesus, Invite man. somebody. Tell somebody about it so we can pack this room and roar. In the name of Jesus. Roar like lions for the kingdom of God because we're an able mighty army in the mighty name, the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. And somebody shall say amen. Amen. Listen, we're about to finish this broadcast. And let me share my heart with you as we wrap up the year. Okay, God is not done with you yet. Man. We still have some weeks to go. We still have some weeks to go. Man. Okay, and I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ, right? Your frame of mind from everything that you've learned this year has been set. Amen. You are not being rather distracted and wired away into the darkness, but rather you are coming to the realization of the light. Amen. And you are beginning to learn of him for he's meek and holy and Amen. he's changing your situation around. Amen. That is what I'm believing God for. So I believe that this fast will be different. Different. It will be very different. Brother Frank and I were talking earlier before we came actually uh, started sharing our hearts with you. And he was saying that Pastor Reverend Inkling, actually, you can tell that he's different and he's released something. That is what we are looking for. Amen. That is what we are looking for. A Amen. release of the glory of God Amen. upon our lives. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. And somebody say, Amen. Amen. Can you imagine what wonder Jesus Christ was? Mm. 
He said, learn of me for I am meek. Learn of me. I am meek and of a lowly heart. Meek and lowly. The earth could not contain him. Mm, 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 mm. The earth could not contain him. I had to respond to him. Mm, 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 I had to mm, respond mm. to him. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And somebody shall say amen. Amen. Man of God, I want you to share some parting thoughts and then you can pray. You can pray for the people of God and then we will go from there. So please. Amen. So I think we, we've said a lot, but the last thing I want to share, you see, even in the Old Testament, mm -hmm. there was a time that the whole of Israel, the Bible says, afflicted their soul. Mm -hmm. which is fasting mm -hmm. they oh. afflicted their soul oh just to come before god oh so it, it's not like it's, it's just in the new testament it's something that they practice in the old too forever so it, it, it's, it's it's an ordinance mm -hmm. from god mm -hmm. and so if you are fasting mm -hmm. it's actually obedience yes obedience yes to the word of god is yes. obedience yes and so please be active in this fast be active take hold of it don't play with it Mm. And I believe that God will release something supernatural upon your life that you never thought of. He says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Thoughts of good and not oh, of evil. Jeremiah. Bring mm. you unto an acceptable end. And, accept and I pray that God will bring you unto an acceptable end. If yes. You partake yes. In this time of fasting. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Amen. And somebody shall say amen. Amen. So friends, thank you. This is by good friend, Pastor Frank. I believe that you were blessed. I believe that a lot of things are going on in your mind, but let me just summarize it for you. Serve God. Jesus name. Serve God. Jesus Let me name. summarize it of you. Learn of him for his meek of a lowly heart. If you can capture the meekness and the lowly heart of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. your motives will be right. Everything about you will be correct. Amen. And you will see that the grace and the prosperity of the Lord is on your side because Amen. he can't do it without you. Amen. When Job decided to stand, God said, you know what? Ah, I have to restore everything that he's lost back to him. Amen. And in the end, he almost had about $6 million worth of livestock, mm, mm, not mm. including the land. Once again, he said, will you save me for not? We're mm. not motivated by the money. Mm. We're motivated by the service and God honoring that service Jesus name. and being a blessing. Jesus that name. is what we're worried about. Jesus and name. somebody shall say amen. Amen. Somebody shall say amen. Amen. So man of God, I want you to pray. I want you to stretch forth your hands to people and pray and pray and pray and release something good into their lives for the week in Jesus name. In the name of Jesus, mm. I release you this week mm. that the grace of God, yeah. which is sufficient in all things, yes. will be your portion. Oh, as you go to work, wherever you find yourself, oh. going out, in, may your ways be blessed in yes. the name of Jesus. Yes. Do you have a sickness? Yes. Do you have a disease? Yes. May the Lord God yes, sir. who stretches forth his hand to heal. Oh. May he stretch forth his hand. Oh. Upon your life. Oh. Oh. May the Son of Righteousness. Oh. Rise up with oh. healing in his wings. Yeah. Concerning your situation. Yes. Oh. May God be with you. Yes. May God shield you. Yes. May God make a hedge yes. around your life. Yes. May the hedge never be broken. Oh. May no serpent be able to penetrate. In the name of Jesus. In the God name bless of Jesus. you. God be with you everywhere you go in everything. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, you are blessed. Amen. 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 So we thank you for joining us. Listen, join us every Wednesday so that you can be blessed and Amen. so that the kingdom of God can continue to advance. Amen. We love you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Bye-bye and God bless you.